We'll begin this hour with the former national chairman of the All Progressive Grand Alliance, Abga, and now Labour Party chieftain, Victor Omeh, who says the coalition talks between his party and the new Nigerian People's Party, the NNPP, ended on the 15th of June. Well, Ume faulted Rabi Kwankwaso, the presidential candidate of the NNPP, for giving the impression that the talks between both parties are still in progress. Ume, who is vying for a senator seat on the Labour pl that's the LP platform, said the talks collapsed completely because both parties could not agree on who will be the presidential candidate. Otanko well, Yunusa, Labour Party chieftain and member of the Peter B presidential campaign team, joins us now in the studio. Thank you so much, Mr. Tanko, for being on the news tonight. Thank you for having me. Well, a good place to start would be to ask you where exactly is this alliance or coalition between the Labour Party and the new Nigerian People's Party? Okay, um, I can confirm that uh, there have been discussions, quite all right. A discussion started with uh, the movement under the National Consultative Front, okay. which every one of us are members, including uh, uh, some of the chieftains of the NMPP. Okay, and our idea was to get um, a big tent where everybody can come together. We had a series of meetings, and the last meeting that took place was uh, with the Director General of the Campaign Organization of Peter Obi, who is um, Dr. Doni Okupe. There are meetings that took place for 13 hours, and about 80% of the discussions were agreed to work together and produce a candidate that will lead this country. But eventually what was not agreed upon was actually who become the president and then the vice president. But then that does not stop us from working together. But uh, uh, with the coming up of the discussion that comes on the air as regard to whether Northern Park will not vote for so, 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 so person, that really took us aback. And then we felt that clarification need to be made. And then for us, it's just the idea of we're not running uh, a regional leadership. We're not running um, a, 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 a religious leadership. We're interested in Project Nigeria. And anybody who believes in Project Nigeria should come along with us in this particular day. And for us, it's Peter Obi. And what simply means is that we are going forward. We're not standing back. We're not going on any issue of anything that will stop us from We want to move forward. And um, I'll be glad to inform the Nigerian people that as from today, the, the Labour Party and the presidential campaign team will unveil the next Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria within the next three days. And then everybody should concentrate and focus its attention on what we are intending to do. And the interesting part of it is saying that probably some part of this country will not vote for some part of this country. I'm sorry, we'll get mm. there. We'll mm. really get there. You know, there's okay. so much. Okay. <laughs> you need any clarification, sorry, um, yeah. Amaka. You need because to. Because we really had a, uh, Chief Victor Ume say talks collapsed June 15th. That's about three weeks ago. Mm. And you are here saying you're moving forward. However, the conversations on national and international television has taken you aback. So what exactly is it? Is well, the coalition still on or not? No. What we are saying is that we've stopped discussions. So it has collapsed. Yeah, we, it, of course. Yeah, sorry. I'm just taking a cue from what you have said. No, no. We're well, asking you. You are a chieftain of the yes, Labour Party and a member said. of the Peter Obi uh, campaign exactly. council. So are you telling us now that the talks between your party and the NNPP is completely off the table? Exactly. It's okay. Okay. off the table. So, but of course, as it stands right now, there are some names being filtered around, even though you have confirmed to us that you're going to make an announcement on or before the 8th, which of course is the deadline anyway. But we've seen some names being, you know, pondered about uh, from uh, Dati to some other people. But can you give us like an exclusive as to what Nigeria should expect oh, from uh, who eventually becomes the vice presidential candidate? Well, uh, there are consultations uh, going on and the decision has been, will be made within now and three days. And I can assure you within now, and to just be patient, within now and Friday, there will be an unveiling of a tentative vice presidential candidate that will run with comrade Peter Gregory Obi. Okay. Mm. And, uh, you know, before Mr. Peter Obi emerged the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, he, yeah. had, uh, he was in talks with a lot of political parties. Exactly. Uh, and there was this notion that, you know, he was avoiding the troubles within Nigerian political parties. And that's why he settled for where it seemed to be relatively calmer, which was the Labour Party. And he seems to be avoiding troubles. Uh, you know, the question came up, and I asked him that question. If you're not able to face these troubles in political parties, how do you then face a country like Nigeria, which is bedeviled by many challenges? And in this talk with uh, NNPP, the naughty issue was that both men, 
uh, refused to deputize each other. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. They both wanted to be presidential candidates. So okay. if this was all about Nigeria mm -hmm. and turning the tide for the people of the country, why was it so difficult for one person to deputize the other? Why? It looked like they are both about personal ambitions and not so much about, you know, what they say they want to do. Okay. Um, let me answer your question as regard to how to navigate milky waters. Mm -hmm. Okay, even as a pilot, when you have a lot of storms in the air, you always want to navigate around the clouds so that you will not get your, your passengers always all muddled up and all thinking. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what he did. Looking out for a much easier, fresher, and more acceptable platform, which of course is the Labour Party. Remember that uh, the conglomerate of the National Consultative Front, which controls close to about 10 to 15 million people as a platform, adopted the Labour Party and this took us a painstaking process for decades. This is the third time we are moving in this direction. So what you are seeing is not a fluke. It has started decades ago. And so when he joined also it like added value to what we are doing. So as regard to the issue of whether uh, who deputized for another, for us in Nigeria today, we've had leadership from all parts of this country. And at the moment now, what is trending and what is looking like a real thing for the Nigerian project, for the unity of this country, for this country to move forward. A lot of us have been thinking of having a candidate coming from southeastern part of this country. And of co coincidentally, we have a person like Peter Obi joining this particular movement. And credibly so, he has replicated most of the things that the Nigerian people wanted, especially the Nigerian youth. He has changed their despondency to reality. They now have a belief that there's a hope that this country can work together as a team. In that narrative, it is very, very pertinent and very correct for us to leverage on the candidature of Gregory Peter Obi, and then hoping that we will get a very credible person to run as his vice from the north. That way it will show that the North is not always greedy as it's been called to be always greedy. And remember, the North has done it severally during the Obasanjo era. The North overwhelmingly voted for uh, Obasanjo. Mm -hmm. And even Abiola, most of us run a contest, I mean voted. And we voted for a southern extraction. So this particular analogy that probably the North will not vote for a southern is completely a fallacy. It's not true. Right. But now you have mentioned that his vice will definitely be from the North. You have confirmed that oh, to us. Oh, definitely. But what wonders really as it stands right now, is the Liberal Party willing to go into the 2023 election alone? Or are you in talks with any other political party in terms of getting that vice presidential candidate for like as I said before, we had a lot of people, a lot of group, a lot of political parties. You may be surprised in the next few days, you may have about 10, 15 political parties declaring support, mm. register or the register. What we are going to have is a big tent. Anybody that is prophesizing rescue Nigeria on its lips, this is the time to rescue Nigeria. And then for us, we are opening our doors, even not closing it down for NNPP. If we are interested in rescuing the country, all of us must come together because we are going to face a bigger challenge. People who have generated a lot of humongous money, rightly or wrongly, and they are trying to use it to continue to stiffen on all of us as a people. And then we will not take to that. So if you believe in it, you must come onto this movement. The movement is solidly for the interests of Nigeria. It's a Nigerian project. It's not tribal, it's not religion, it's not any particular set, but for the benefit of the Nigerian people. And if you believe in it, there's only one bus stop, and that bus stop is Labour Party, and the driver will be Peter Obi. Okay, uh, and very quickly before we let you go, I mean, even though you're not revealing who this uh, running mate or vice presidential candidate would be, what were the criteria you looked at? Because when it comes to elections, it's all about the numbers. I know the Labour Party movement or the obedience, like they like to call, you know, don't like to talk about structure. They mm. say they are structureless. It's just about numbers. So mm. indeed, the numbers do matter. So in picking this vice presidential candidate, uh, I'm sure your party thought about the numbers. In, mm. It has to be somebody with the numbers. And mm -hmm. that's why you spoke to Kwan Kwan so mm. initially, because mm. of his Kwan Kwan Sia movement. Yeah. So what is this person bringing to the table for a PTRB? Well, as it is today, 
You remember, we have a section of the country, we have about six geographical zones. And even in the north, we have three zones in the north. And then if you're talking about numbers, you talk about people who can really bring something valuable, credible, and then acceptable, somebody who has character, somebody who can speak to the younger generation, who will believe in this particular movement, so that we can move the mantra to the Nigerian project. That way, we will get all the numbers that we are requiring for. Because we believe that all parts of this country are already in pain. And if you are in pain, we must find a way of resolving that particular pain. And that belongs to the Nigerian youth, especially who command close to about 50 to 55 percent of the total population. And once you have somebody who can resonate with the youth, just like Peter Obi is doing, the numbers are there for us to pick. Right. And of course, you have actually spoken very strongly about those who are saying the Labour Party don't have the structure to produce the next president, that they will be shocked in 2023. Oh, but definitely. we need to put you on the spot right now, because I did ask you about Dati Ahmed mm. earlier. And yeah. You sort of, you know, found your way out of that question. But the pictures are flying everywhere. So can you confirm to us that that is your vice president? You know, pictures candidate? can fly anywhere. But I think you have to be patient enough for us to see. Just Friday is just about three days from here. But the, way the, the expression of your face is almost, uh, you know, saying that, yes, that might just be I didn't positive, say but so. we have to wait. But then I'm that. saying for a fact that within the next three days, mm. we will unveil the tentative vice presidential candidate that will run with Obi. You see, in politics, last minute, one second can change a tie. Mm. Do you know that? Okay. So you don't give them until when it happens. So be patient enough. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Well, we're being patient. Hoping that they don't mm -hmm. go numb. Yes. Well, I guess before, we wrap, before we wrap mm -hmm. up this uh, conversation, we need to talk about the Labour Party because, you know, you're talking no structure and all of that. It's not a concern for you. But why is the Labour Party uh, really supporting an APC candidate in Kebu State? It's a question that Nigerians want to know. Don't you actually think this might actually lead to even maybe the NLC, you, see, you know, throwing the party you, under you the see, bus? You see, when it comes to politics, a lot of interests come about. You may not believe that probably the person that you are talking about does not even really belong to the Labour Party. And the structure that people are saying, we do have structure. He's the president of the NUT. We have, uh, he's the president of an association, a union association. Okay. We have more than close to about 15, 30 different close associations. Mm. It's only one you are talking about now. But, but there are concerns that an OB presidency may be counterproductive uh, because there is little effort at winning other positions. It looks like there's a lot of attention on the president. Peter will be becoming the president and you don't have National Assembly members, you don't have governors across the 36 states. What do you say to that? Oh, that's not true. Even as I'm leaving the office right now, they are busy uploading candidates that will run from governorship to the state assembly down the line. So we are having our structure everywhere. Everybody, those who will contest election from the state assembly to um, uh, uh, governorship, right. all of them are there. So okay. I think those who want to cause a will okay. into the course of progress, of course, will make you believe that there's no. So we, we, are, we are running the whole full course. Right. And of mm. course, this rumor came up when, you know, in the Ocean election, we didn't see a Peter will be on ground campaign. But we have to say thank you so much for joining us Even that tonight I can on the to program. <laughs> <laughs> a chieftain of uh, the Labour Party, that's uh, Tanko. You know, sir, thank you so much for being God here. God bless you and God bless the Federal Republic of America.